Hello internet friends. In the previous video we finished the firewall. So we now have the forward firewall assembly that we will use to construct this forward fuse lodge lower structure. So this is section 28. Here we go. So today was another day where my goal is to do at least one hour of work on the plane. Uh, and I didn't start until about 8 o'clock at night. And I actually took a nap because I was tired, fell asleep, and then woke up. And instead of going to bed, figured uh, I'm going to go do my one hour. So went out to the garage and figured, you know what I could do? Um, I need to take these doublers and these stiffeners and just deburr them and dimple them. So that should be easy enough to do and I think I ended up doing two hours of work so that's you can turn one hour into two hours pretty easily <laughs> as you keep going and, and working and saying oh well, I'll just do one more thing I'll just do one more thing and then pretty soon your wife is telling you come to bed it's late so if you followed along, you've already seen a hundred videos of, oh, this is pretty shaky, but okay. Yeah, you've seen a hundred shaky videos of me <laughs> deburring. I guess I should put the camera on the concrete instead of the table because the grinder shakes the camera. Oh, well, uh, anyway, so deeper parts, when you take them out of the blue vinyl, they're going to have rough edges. So either file them or use a Scotch-Brite wheel, and I'm lazy, so I'm gonna use a Scotch-Brite wheel every chance I can get. And then, um, dimple them, and then use a Scotch-Brite pad, because I'm gonna prime these parts. So, using the Scotch-Brite pad, if you're not familiar, um, just helps you, uh, or helps the primer bond to the part a little better. Okay, so then uh, the plans tell you to use a step drill to drill out the antenna hole to 9 sixteenths. And my step drill isn't really labeled very well, so I kept drilling and then checking to make sure I didn't go past 9 sixteenths. So uh, the other thing that there is to know about this is uh, you need to drill the antenna holes to number 12. And then after that, the plans say to go ahead and dimple all the number 30 and number 40 holes except for a drain hole. And there's some 532nd holes um, right at the front, so I put some tape over that. And actually, there's a gotcha here where depending on if you're building the tricycle gear or the tail dragger, uh, there's a nut plate or three uh, holes that you dimple. So that is in section 29-04, and you can see the three holes that I'm talking about here in that red uh, rectangle. And if we go look at detail A, this is what it says that if you're building the tricycle, then you final drill the middle hole there, and if you're building the tail dragger, then um, just dimple and rivet the skin to all three holes there. So, um, and you'll see I dimple it, and then I'm like, wait a second, this looks like a nut plate goes here. So then I back up and smash it. So that's, you know, anytime you see three holes together, you should think, does a nut plate go here? because it probably does. Now, it's not as obvious in this scenario because all three holes are the same size, which is what caused me to pause and think, oh, does a nut plate really go here? And check the plans and then realize like, okay, it doesn't say anything here. Let's go forward in the plans and see if anything says that it does go there. And yep, what is it? One section ahead, it says, yep, uh, put a nut plate there. Uh, obviously, if the hole was the middle hole is bigger and that plate goes there. So uh, it wasn't super obvious here because it says drill to number 27, uh, the middle hole. But anytime you see three holes together, you should think, does not plate go here? Okay, then uh, for the rest of the video, I just dimple the holes in the right skin, right forward fuselage skin here. Uh, updates, so exciting news. Uh, I previously mentioned a little bit and I about this and I didn't want to jinx it, but uh, I have a hanger again. 
So this is where I need to eat crow and take back everything that I ever said about the EAA and people being 800 years old and just, you know, put my tail between my legs because I went to the last EAA meeting and someone was like, hey, does anyone want to share a hanger? And I was like, oh, I need a hanger because you know what? My wings are going to show up. And also look at this garage. Like I am out of space. I have no space to build wings once I put this fuselage together. Uh, and all my hanger stuff is in there. See the giant cooler and all the hanger tools? So I am super happy to be able to have a space to put everything back together and then have enough space to actually attach all the plane parts. And especially um, like ordering an engine and ordering um, a propeller. Like I'd put that off because I, I, you know, even if it showed up, I don't have a place to put it. But now I do. So. Again, uh, you, EAA is more than just technical knowledge, it's also the connections that you make at the meeting. So I love you guys, I will never doubt you again. Anyway, uh, if you want to come chat RVs, uh, join our Slack group. The link is in the description. I say this every video, but the link is really there. See you next time.